You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. We, we got some drive-ins to do. If I would have known it was to take this song, I would have ran to the restroom real quick. But now, it's too late. Enter the madness. Okay, so somebody's watching me. That's interesting. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we going to take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. You're talking about Winchester. That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. This house is much older than it seems, but the architecture seems too recent. Oh, there's a there's a crow. Poor kid. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. 
I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Personality. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. All right, Constable Wiggum. Where are we going? I don't see any way out this way. Back this way. When we're gonna meet up with Silas? He sounds perfectly wonderful. I'll have to find another entrance. Now, in his heyday, this would be a this would be a gorgeous house. Like, <clears throat> sit out here and, and enjoy your morning coffee. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! You were trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's... Vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. 
If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <clears throat> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Okay, Mr. Uh, angry Guy. Beers, shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, that mechanic is I'm with you. But... I am going to take advantage of this one. I'll be right back. Hopefully I wasn't gone too long. Follow me. I know the place. Who left okay. this light on? <clears throat> the Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Tells me that you should probably light those candles so you can see. Is that a squid? What kind of meat is this? That's what I said. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. smashed his plate on the floor. He jumped up. And... Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened Probably at Probably because table. it was that. An argument? What is that? Again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door.
Silas managed Let's to bring see if I can find something the cops missed. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. I shut myself in the door. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? What's that green light? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Anything else that's catching my attention? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Not letting me uh, get out of this, so there's something else. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? That's kind of the pot calling the kettle black there, sir. Did someone escape the fire? hidden It says I I don't know what else to investigate. He was a drinker. Maybe. Is there another clue that I need to, to find, or... What? 
and Cajun, yeah. So they uh, uh, it's already been burned down, apparently. Now I just gotta figure out how to get out of the uh, out of this investigation mode, so I can. Four more points to put in, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the spot. And investigation. And that is what I'm going to do. Maybe more investigation will give me other things to look at. So this is disconcerting. I wish I could, like, light a match. This is literally supposed. Oh. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? That's what I was looking for. The one item that I needed to. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? I don't want to be a dick. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure.
I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Chief West. Would that be, uh... Uh... Herbert West? This house is a beautiful house. Oh, the little question marks up so these bandages, bandages? are covered in dry blood. But whose? The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. Is that the, what would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a... <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Uh, the front door. Corsets. Uh, is there any other thing that could quite possibly be? I do like the touch of his finger burning. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Yeah, but was it signed by the author in 1818? Because, uh, you know. There's a bookseller in the black book that has a book. And I do take uh, um, comments from the crowd. So you have to be on and you're watching. Let me know if I, there's some place I need to go check. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Hmm. Moby Dick. Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. I don't really like how they're like glowing green. Why can't and why can't I like just go ahead and light one of those? Cause I'm an idiot. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Pretty tall little uh, mantle they got there. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Hey, look, a stairway that isn't blocked. Cover the Make sure 
sure that there isn't uh, any other places. I would love to have a place that had a library like this. I wouldn't put books all over the place though. They would be more uh... More taken care of. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. I still say this, there should be a ship out there called Charybdis. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. Uh, as you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, no longer continue to close my eyes to the behavior of your wife. Last week again, she terrified my clientele. I know she means no harm, but you should place her in care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to reoccur, believe that be that. Although it would feel like torture, I would be obligated to involve the police. Well, what is that? Either that is just a weird visual or Hi Mousy. Locked. Okay. Do you hear a door? Boys room. I don't know. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? That is actually pretty cool, uh, an idea for like wooden toys. Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? That she needs lamps. And I need to be able to like, actually open stuff up. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Is 
that took him with me. Perfect. That was a, somebody looking at me there for a second. Well, uh, there's that. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Alright, does that look like everything? Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. She was summoning something and painting it. That's what her paintings were. I'm guessing. That's what it looks like. Bradley? Is that you? I probably already picked that door. Unless it's up here. anyone there why is it going green why is it green my character Did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Well, let's start over here. Before I go over there where the obvious 
<laughs> secret door is. It looks like an old seaway map. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. This for fits and shiggles. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Ah! <laughs> Doesn't work. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. And now the house falls apart. Well done, Pierce. So, inside the Hawking Mansion, the scene of the fire is revealed, has revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley are now on the trail of a survivor had had undertaken to search the place looking for proof when a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop just a little painting. Detective and police officer set off after him by 